Hi folks, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. In this video, I'm going to show you after the initial install of Photoshop Elements 2020, um, what the screen comes up as, and we'll just talk a few seconds about this screen itself. And in a next video after that, we will talk a little bit more about um, the comparison. I want to do a comparison between this version of what the new items are and the look and feel of uh, Photoshop Elements 2018 is the last one that I purchased. I did not purchase 2019. So if you purchase 2019, we'll talk a little bit about is there enough reason to upgrade to 2020? And um, we'll give the, the, the impressions of that with what they're adding new to this version. And, and we'll talk about should you actually upgrade or not. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to jump over to the computer. Okay, so on the computer here, we can see now that this is the first screen that comes up. Uh, it gives you a little bit of an idea of what's in this new package. Now, the first thing I want to point out is what you get with Photoshop Elements 2020 is basically these two items, the organizer and the photo editor. If you buy the Photoshop Elements Premiere, you will also get the video editor. I did not buy the Premiere, so we're not concerned with the video editor. At the top here, it says, uh, see how easy it is to create. You can learn more. So you can click on these and actually learn more. And I think the web browser actually comes up when you do that. And there we go in the web browser. So yes, it does show you a little bit more. It gives you some guided steps that you can use for editing. But you're watching these videos, so we don't need to go there. You can create slideshows, which you could do that before on other versions. Um, full video borders. So if you're using Elements Premiere, you can do the borders. Uh, inspiration. Add speed effect to your photos. So you can do this speed effect, and we've done that in past videos. Bring in your photos and videos. They're talking about bringing it into the organizer, and I will show you how to do that for anybody new to the channel, uh, just learning. And we'll show you on the new version of Elements 2020. Create a time-lapse video. I cannot teach you that because that's with Premiere. So we're not doing the video editing. Get inspired on Instagram. So there's cool ways on Instagram and a lot of stuff on there you can find to help you with your inspiration. So if you want to uh, go that route. Order fun prints and gifts. We talked about that on the unboxing video is where you can actually um, add some prints and be able to pick prints up now from Adobe. Of course, if you use Shutterfly or any of the other, you know, uh, companies out there, there's plugins to ship those out and send those to them very easily. And through the videos, we'll show you some plugins that you can use. Find videos fast with auto tagging. Auto tagging has been around for a while. I also like facial recognition. I think it's a pretty cool algorithm where once you tell Adobe Elements uh, whose face is whose, and then you can actually uh, let it find all those people in your photos and create uh, very easily create albums. Create with your photos, so obviously you can be very creative. Uh, explore new creations, what's new. And you can go into here and see the new stuff we talked about when we did the unboxing. Get help with cropping, that's always a big deal. Uh, how to crop your photos properly. Um, you know, we don't always want people centered in the photos. Brush on fun patterns, that's something new to 2020 where you can uh, now take a, a pattern brush, but we've done that in the past. All you have to do is add some new brushes to your uh, your brush palette and you can do all kind of cool stuff with that and I'm sure we'll show you that through the videos share photos and videos it's very easy to share through Photoshop elements very uh, uh, easy easy undertaking replace the photo sky with a video so that's something new but again that's in Premiere so we are talking about still photography um, brighten the photo very easy to brighten your photos a lot of different ways to do that automatically colorize a photo so now you can go in here and actually uh, add color to a black and white photo so if you scan an old photo uh, we've done that in the past also we've done a lot of painting a, a lot of blending and using a lot of different uh, overlay modes to uh, make those colors look realistic tweet a photo we can now tweet a photo i think you can do that in the past Import HEIF and HEVC files. I guess that's raw files from different cameras. This is the facial recognition I was telling you about. Tag your family and friends. So once you tell, you know, the face, once you 
name, put a name to the face, uh, Adobe Elements is really scary. You're very scarily good at picking those people back out. Remove unwanted objects. They show you a little boy in the background there, and uh, and then all of a sudden he's not there. Open closed eyes. We've done that in the past in videos where you know you would take multiple shots and you would take uh, the pictures or the eyes for one photo and pull those into another and blend those very nicely. This is something where I would say you should upgrade 2019 to 2020. Is select a subject with a single click. Selections are very difficult to get really, really good. Uh, a lot of you know I use a, a Wacom tablet or a Wacom tablet and a pencil, so I can uh, do that by hand. It, it, it helps me a lot, but if Photoshop Elements now has an algorithm, I think it's worth the upgrade just for that. Adjust photo lighting. Fix grainy videos. If you are into video and you are into Elements Premiere for your videos, and you can fix your grainy videos. That's usually caused by, uh, we know that's caused by noise from low light situations. Create a collage of effects. So I've created collages with you before. It's a very, very cool photograph once you get that done. And uh, it's very much uh, ready for framing. You can put that up anywhere in your house. Pop one color in a black and white. We've showed this in the past, how you can pull a certain color out. I often did this uh, when I was doing wedding photography. I would pull out maybe the bouquet, or I would uh, maybe paint the cake and then have the cake color, but everything else behind it black and white. There's a lot of different things you can do. You can use your imagination. Don't overdo it because many people have done it and done it and done it so much that it's not really as eye-catching or pleasing anymore. Organize using albums. We are going to show you how to organize your photos using albums. Quickly fix common problems. That's what it's all about. That's why I love Photoshop Elements because we can quickly fix problems easily. Photoshop, just because you say you have the full version of Photoshop doesn't make you a better photographer. It just means you have to do a lot of this easy work um, with many, many more steps. So let me just put it that way. That's why I like Elements. I've been teaching Elements for years because of that reason. So there you go. There's remove unwanted uh, stuff in photos again. We talked about that. Uh, bring old photos back to life. That's pretty cool. It actually uh, blends out the uh, wrinkles of a photo if you scan it in. Um, remove distractions. Again, we're removing things off of our photos, so that's very important. Organize by places. I love this for vacations. When you go on a vacation, and uh, we travel a lot uh, by motorcycle and see a lot of different places, and we take pictures when I come back, it will organize those based on where we were at. So if you're looking for uh, pictures from Vegas, sure enough, they're there. Again, ordering your uh, prints and photos and GIFs and everything from Adobe, you can do it directly from Adobe now, and we can still do it from all of our other places out there so you don't have to change developers. And organized by events. Events are very nice to organize by. Uh, again, I used to use that for wedding photography. Uh, I would use it for uh, different Christmases. I would use it for holidays, any holiday. Uh, maybe a place you go visit, you can organize it by that event that you had. So down here, auto creations, uh, if you want more media for auto creations, you can add media and that is a paid service through Adobe. You can add that to your uh, Adobe Elements. So there you have it. So that's just a really, really quick rundown of some of the new things. And let me switch back to my camera here. Uh, let me turn around here a little bit. Get this shirt fixed up here. <laughs> but that's that's one thing that I would say if you're on 2019, why you want to upgrade to 2020, um, you know, look around for the special deals. There'll be many deals throughout the year on Photoshop Elements 2020. Uh, we're in the very early stages here of it. But from what I've seen so far, it is really worth the uh, upgrade, the price. And if you're using Elements anyway, you know, you should go ahead and do that. A lot of people ask me, Jack, is this like Photoshop now where you have to pay a monthly subscription? And it is not. They still... Keep Photoshop Elements. Uh, I showed you in the unboxing where you can you can buy it and you can pull on your computer. And for that low price of, you know, I got it for $60, uh, even the low price of $99, it's yours. You don't have to upgrade every year. It's totally up to you. So thanks. So, folks, thanks for watching this video of uh, a little bit of the beginning of Photoshop Elements. When you first uh, load it in that first screen, it comes up. And we will be talking more down the road here, more about Photoshop Elements 2020. 
So stick around, keep coming back. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you back here in the next video. Thanks and I'll see you then. Bye-bye for now.